You know, I used to absolutely despise EDM, electronic dance music, but one night I went to the rave and I went to the rave, yeah. Judy goes to raves. I was gonna make a whole joke about how uh, some dude in a sleeveless, like, like tank top gave me, gave me ecstasy and now I love EDM. But uh, that, that never happened. Mom, that, that never happened. I do like EDM, to a point. I mean, more than I like country. Now we're gonna do the entire thing on this MIDI keyboard. I had to buy a really cheap one on Amazon because I, I gotta keep with the cheap studio vibes. I can't be using some kind of crazy long, long boy. I've never written or produced an EDM song. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're also gonna be doing this entire thing on GarageBand. And uh, if you didn't know, the GarageBand MIDI patches are, are, they're, they're just basically something Steve Jobs pulled out of his butthole. Uh, did, Steve Jobs didn't invent GarageBand. Who? Gerard Lingling, Lingling. Gerard Lingling was probably just, just some guy at Apple trying to get paid. And he was like, what's a MIDI patch? And then someone was like, oh, that's like the instruments that you can play on the MIDI keyboard. And then he was like, what's a keyboard? I really thought about using Ableton for this, but I, I it's cheap studio. Cheap. GarageBand is... GarageBand is free. What I'm gonna do is make my own version of an electronic dance music song. Which means I'm just gonna make it like psychedelic and uh, like space. When I was like 11, Skrillex was really big and uh, I'm pretty sure I downloaded the GarageBand app on my iPod Touch and I used to make like dubstep. Like, like. Man, I wanna end my life. Y'all remember Martin Garrix? <laughs> I gotta put the Stranger Things riff somewhere in here. I don't know why it's not even EDM, it's just spacey. Is that even it? I don't watch Stranger Things. For the remainder of this video, I talk a lot about how I sampled the Stranger Things riff and uh, how, how that is the Stranger Things riff. When in fact it is not. Uh, that is sick. I'm just saying, I think, I, I think I'm a great producer. All right, let's add some elements to that. I want to do like a spacey little synth thing. Frippin' balls. This is supposed to be EDM somehow, but I'm just, I'm just playing now. Yeah, it's not gonna be a song you should listen to on Ecstasy anymore. It's gonna be some, some, some weed. Some, some <laughs> I, I wanna put some strings on that. I wanna put some strings. So everything's just gonna cut out and then it's gonna all explode on the, uh, I guess the D minor. And then it's gonna get real electronic dance music, like right after that. <laughs> Now is where the stranger thinks uh, the, the loop is going to come in. I'm having a lot of fun. Not even touching a, a real instrument. It's a lot of fun. I want to put like a choir over the second part of that, uh, the, the stranger things riff. And then kind of let it all fade out except for the stranger things riff. No, it's just going to be a pause. And then it's going to go into the next section where there's going to be a be a dynamic change. Aww. Something like that, like a choir. Oh, I gotta do bass for that first part. What have I been doing making making trap beats and guitar riffs? This is where it's at. I've never done this. I just sampled the Stranger Things intro. No one cares. You can't copyright me on that. Ah! What I'm thinking is something kind of glistening and gl glittery. Hey, Gerard, uh, I, I'm sorry I said your patches suck. Uh, I have come to realize that some of them are good. Just a few of them. A lot of them are complete trash. But uh, some of them are good. I'm going to give you that. You know? Okay, so it's going to do that for a few bars. And halfway through it, I'm going to put the hook in it. Now the hook is one of the most important parts to an EDM song. So I'm not gonna work hard on it. Just gotta be something that'll get stuck in your head. Get a vibraphone. I'm gonna do the hook on a vibraphone. That's all you need. Just something, something kind of poppy in the A minor scale. Hi! We need a drop. drop. This is 
just want all the white people in the club to start. The closest thing I've done to a drop in a song is a metal song. Well, no, I've written trap beats. So the drop is gonna have that same hook, just with a completely different patch. Maybe something like a like a like a synth lead or something, something very powerful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to, to my DJ friends, and they're gonna play it at the rays for all the white people to listen to. <coughs> I think I have coronavirus. Change the key real quick, F minor. I didn't put the drums in the second part of the, uh, the let's say, chorus, and uh, it actually sounds kind of cool. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna like copy paste the verse again, the Stranger Things riff, and then end it out. I'm hype, bro. I'm hype. This got me hype. I wanna go work out. I wanna go do some big shit. Do some bitch presses. Before I end the video, I wanted to say that I'm gonna lay back on Chief Studio a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna completely end the series. However, I need to come up with some more ideas. Uh, Judy Surfs the Web and Chief Studio. It's gonna get boring after a while. I guess enjoy the song. You're gonna go fart, kid. <laughs>